What is up everybody and welcome back to the witchcraft server. I'm back here at the flower farm, of course, uh, and yeah, uh, real quick, we're gonna very, very quickly go over what I've done. I have put in all the fixins that I mentioned before, sort of rounded out uh, the aesthetics in here. I uh, got the storage all set up in here. I did end up having to take the sorting system out because it was getting overloaded when I was testing it. Uh, so at this point basically I have it just filtering out the seeds and even that's not foolproof a lot of seeds are still getting through although I haven't tested it since I made a few tweaks uh, so it's filtering out the seeds shooting them down here where they're going up back up and into um, composter to make some bone meal so that way they're not going to waste and then I can pull straight from the bone meal to put it in these other farms or to send up into the whoa that was weird uh, to send up into the flower farm. So got all that taken care of. Um, I know today we're going to put these farms in, gonna slot them in real quick. Real quick I will show you, okay I did, I did sleep, cool. Uh, up here I went ahead and um, swapped out the fences now that we're on uh, 1.14.3 uh, like I said, did that, and yeah, just sort of been doing some gathering bits and bobs, fixing all that stuff in there, and yeah, let's uh, let's get straight into putting these other farms in. I think I've got everything I need downstairs, and yeah, we will slot these farms in real quick, like, and then uh, we'll move on to something else. Get away from the flower farm here for a few minutes. I got I got an idea, of something to do, so. I'll see you in a second, right after this time lapse. Assuming the replay mod works this time. <sighs> oh mods, you are such such fickle creatures. <laughs> Alrighty, and just like that, got it all done. So now pretty much the interior of this farm is taken care of other than decorating uh, the entrance hallway here. This is totally done. Uh, so to show you sort of what I've got going on here, I told you before that this main farm will only do some of the flowers, and then these farms will account for pretty much any other dye that I could possibly want. So show you what I got going on here. We're gonna snag some bone meal. Gonna drop that in there. And so this here is the, I believe it's the Exuma uh, Sea Pickle Farm. Let me just double check real quick. Yes, so this is the Exuma uh, Sea Pickle Farm. So if you haven't seen his video, highly recommend. As you can see, I'm picking picking me up a few pickles. So, yeah, and it might not seem like I'm getting very much, but that's actually because a lot of them are gonna be uh, getting picked up by my collection system here in the floor. And that, that's, that's all of it. Uh, right under this block right here, there is actually a uh, hopper minecart on top of a hopper chain that leads back to the collection system. So I can just chuck these guys in there, keep a few right here handy, uh, put in the bone meal there. So yeah, uh, if you want to see how to build this in depth, of course there will be a link to uh, Exuma's tutorial for that. Uh, 
Let's just go ahead and undo all of this because we're going to use it. Uh, and that hopper uh, minecart system it goes under all of these and leads to a water elevator and goes into the ice stream. So if we go over here, we can see that we got some pickles. Uh, whoa, hello. And some pickles. And it looks like that's all the pickles there. That's kind of interesting. There should definitely be more pickles. I want things might be backed up. I'll have to check on it. Um, these are my two tall flower farms that I, I I just love the note block activation on this. And of course, on further thought about this, take it around and back, fill up these, or maybe not fill up, but get some bone meal in these guys. I'm just gonna check a stack in each one right now. I'm pretty sure I heard a drowned. I wonder if there's a drowned in my water column that picked up pickles. That would be really funny. But yeah, everything goes down here and I've got a uh, an unloader for the dropper here leading out of that. Oop. Hello, Elytra activation. So if we head back around, all I gotta do is hit the note block and it just farms. And they all get picked up. Of course, a few will uh, end up there. That is actually one thing I could probably take care of very quickly. If I put like a fence, I wonder if a fence there would solve that problem. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Throw our lilacs in there. So if I pop a fence on there, I wonder if that'll keep them on enough to get picked up. Ooh, not quite. I may end up needing to put like a uh, stair block or something there to stop them, or I can just, you know, pick up the stragglers and chuck them in. Not exactly a pain or anything. Just boom, and there we go. And of course, same with the rose bushes. Really, really simple, and it goes straight, straight on in. And then of course this here is the, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say his name exactly. I think it's Vitor Gavia, Vitor Gavia, something like that. Of course, there will be a link to his uh, cocoa bean farm. All you gotta do is just hold down right click and boom, there you go. Of course, it does help if I put some bone meal in. So, of course this is farming up the the cocoa beans for the brown dye, no problem whatsoever. And this, the nice thing about this is it only activates when it needs to. And just chuck those in, and boom, everything's going up and ending up in here. See, so we got some cocoa beans coming through. See, I can hear it splashing. There they go. Cocoa beans. So I actually ended up having to slow the transport system down a little bit, so the filter for the seeds wasn't getting overwhelmed and such. Uh, Use just a little bit less ice. So yeah, seeds are all in there. Looking pretty good, pretty good. So yeah, it's automatically composting. Uh, basically, all the seeds that come through should get composted as well as um, overflow, but actually I didn't put that in. I'll probably do that, but I don't really anticipate there being a whole lot of overflow. So I'll at least be turning those seeds into something useful for all this. Now, I need to have a little bit of a think about what to do next. I'm gonna deposit some materials in here. Bucket, don't need the eggs. Okay, I do have an idea, something that we can go do because Zing has been hard at work, very, very close by actually. Uh, if I, come on, if we get up here, and then head out this way, yeah, I was thinking, so if you go out here, up there it is, Zing has been hard at work, and I believe he did this on stream, uh, he, oh, messed that up, let's try it again, take two. 
All right. Zing cleared out this ocean monument uh, using some flying machines. And, ooh, that is a very slick and clean aesthetic there. I like that. Ooh, can we just ad ad admire the, how how photogenic that is? Mmm, that is nice. So, uh, I think that this is a this is an Iskal design. I forget. I'll look it up and of course put a put a link on the on the screen. I don't know that he has a tutorial exactly. I think he just showed it off in Hermitcraft. Um, but yeah, it's a very cool design, and I need to. I've cleared out a guardian farm uh, before I started recording when 1.14 was a little, a little, a little less stable. But um, I haven't done anything with it, and I don't want to use this design. I want to do something a little different. Uh, so at some point we'll get around to doing that. But uh, this is very, very nice. So since it was so close, I figured I'd bring you on over and show you. Uh, there is actually some footage of the flying machines uh, closing in, and if I can get my hands on that, I will uh, include it uh, right now while I figure out what the heck we're going to do this episode. All right, everybody, I figured out what we're gonna do. And as you can see, we're in a new area here. Uh, this is a spot you, I don't think I've shown at all. Um, oh, you know what? I think I did when I did the server tour. I think you saw Emily's base. So yeah, we're over at Emily's base. And if you remember last episode, I think it was last episode, she uh, egged the base and left a bunch of chickens everywhere. So of course, we have to retaliate. We have to, to get our our revenge and prank her back. So we're over here, and I've been doing a little little snooping, snooping as usual. And uh, I think I know what we're gonna do. So I've been preparing for our retaliation, and I'm all ready to go. But real quick, before we jump into the prank we're about to do, I kind of want to tell you a little story. Um, while I was preparing, I needed ink sacks. Searched through all my chests, couldn't find any. They were not where I thought they were. So I went over to the Guardian farm in order to get ink, ink sacks, because I thought I had some over at the, the ocean monument that I uh, emptied out. And so I get there, can't get into the hole I've got in the roof of it, end up dying. Which sucks, I lost everything in the water there, so of course I get some gear together and I go there and just try again. Die again. So I spend all this time running around, I had to go find nether wart, go to the base, make a brewing stand, brew a potion of invisibility, go back, get my stuff, and it was just a real nightmare. And then when I got back, I looked through, uh, I went to put something back into one of the chests and I had 40 ink sacks there. And yeah, that uh, that really sucked because that was a very stressful like 20 minutes all for all for nothing. So that felt good. But yeah, I just needed to share that. But let's go ahead and see what it is that I've got planned. Now when I was in here before, there were some baddies. I don't know if there's a spot that's not lit up or what the deal is. Um, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that, so we gotta be prepared. So this is her underground area. Now if we go look around, as you can see, there's some interesting things that have cropped up around here. Uh, if you don't know, we have fire tip turned off, that's why none of this is on fire. 
or the fire spread or whatever. So if we go down, as you can see, we've got a little bit of a vault down here. And in the place of prominence, we have the Nug of Knowledge. Well, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I think we're just going to, to hang on to that for a minute. Uh, don't worry, she'll she'll never know it was me. I'm wearing my robber outfit. Got my uh, got my 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 pantyhose on. Make sure nobody can see my face. But here's what I've got in mind. I'll take the nug of knowledge, and I've come prepared with the egg of knowledge and a lectern which we will go ahead and pop on top here, I think. And we will pop this book in. We'll go ahead and show you what it says. Emily, if you ever want to see your precious nug again, then I suggest the man in the chicken costume hang up his feathers and retires to his chicken coop. I'll tell you how to find the nug in episode 7 of Kim Ray's utterly fantastic witchcraft series, The Man is an Artist. Sincerely, definitely not Kimray. So, and of course this is episode 7, so at the end of the episode you will, of course, be getting the instructions for finding the Nug, which I will hide in an undisclosed location. And yeah, I think that's what we got going. But of course since she chickened my... what the... I'm confused. You see that, right? Like the eggs aren't doing anything. Is that just me? It's like, am I eating them? That was really weird. So of course I brought some, some eggs so we can chicken her base too. Not gonna get very many chickens out of that. I'll get some more eggs and do this in a second. But yeah, so we'll fill this up with some more chickens before we head out of here. But I am going to go take the nug of knowledge and hide that. Meanwhile, you can uh, you can take a look at the uh, the video with instructions for Emily right now while I go hide this nug. Let's play a game. In a nearby land of frost, a golden chicken has left your most precious belonging to hatch. Better rescue it before its goose is cooked. Really? That's the pun we're going with? What am I, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze? That isn't even a chicken pun. And what is this part that says hint go south of your base? Isn't that making it a bit too simple? I mean, it is supposed to be at least a little bit of a puzzle, right? I mean, what are we even... You got the surveillance tape from the vault at least, right? Yeah? Wait, what do you mean you're recording over it to make this? It's all gonna be gone, right? You're sure? Alright, man. Alright, everybody. Got, uh, the nug of knowledge hidden away with some, uh, suggestive messaging here in this barrel. And, like I said, an undisclosed location here and yeah it's 
It's a giant golden egg. <laughs> so, anyways, that's gonna be it for me this time, guys. If you liked this episode, be sure to leave a like. Helps me out a lot. And if you really liked and want to see more of my videos, make sure you hit subscribe, ding the bell, all that good stuff, so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.